Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Turning 50 totally and completely changed the trajectory of my life. Don't touch that remote. It's Princess Bola Adelani. I'll be right back to tell you what turning 50 did to me. Hi, it's Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Yes, turning 50. I know I did turn 50 a couple of months ago. I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking, that I don't look a day older than 16. So thank you for the compliment. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly. But anyway, really, I turned 50 a couple of months ago, and it totally, completely changed the trajectory of my life. And that is going to be the topic of our conversation today. But before I get into that conversation and into my testimony, I just want to bring in the loop, you know, as far as what's been happening to me in the last couple of years, you know, I'm back with Inspire Success, new programs, new shows. Um, but you're probably thinking, you know, what's, what's been going on? Where has she been? What's been happening? Well, a couple of things has been happening. One, I've been doing a lot of international marketplace mission trips. Yes, I've been traveling. Um, in the last two years, I've made six visits, six visits, believe it or not, to um, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and to South Africa. I've been hosting my Call to Destiny Summit. You know, it's a marketplace um, ministry and Marketplace Impact Maximization Training Seminar. If you want to know more about it, you know, um, and you want to know how you can partner, how you can be involved, you know, go to my website, royalproclamations.com, look under the events tab, and you'll see the Call to Destiny Summit there, and you'll find all the information about it there. So that's been one thing that's been going on, um, been traveling a lot. Number two, I've, been, I've written a book. I've published a book. I don't know whether you know that. You may or may not know that. But yes, I'm now a published author of the book called The Master's Mind on Total Success. The Master's Mind on Total Success. Discover God's wisdom for your personal and professional success. And like I was saying in my intro, the third thing that's happened, you know, is that I turned 50. I recently turned 50, believe it or not. And um, like I said, that really, 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 really changed the trajectory of my life, you know. So that's what's been happening. i um, been traveling, authored a book, published a book, and, um, you know, also just doing life, you know, on with doing my um, programs, my consulting, training, coaching, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's what's been happening. And so, like I said, I turned 50. I turned 50. Now, what turning 50 did to me, the first thing they did to me was it made me stop and think. It made me stop and think. Mm. Think about that. <laughs> think about that just for a second. You know, you don't have to wait till you turn 50 or 60 or 70 or 40 before you stop and think. It is good to periodically stop 
and think, you know, it never ceases to amaze me how many people just race through life, you know. They never use the pause button. They just race through life until literally they just, bam, die, you know. I never really stop to think, to reflect, to evaluate, to measure, to say to yourself, you know, am I headed in the right direction? What have I accomplished? What are my goals? What are, uh, what are my mistakes? What, what can I learn, you know? How do I need to reset and recalibrate, you know? And so, um, yeah, I want to encourage you to stop and think. But, uh, you know, it took me turning 50 to really stop and think deep, deeply, you know, not just, just, not just really casually, not just scratching the surface, but really deeply. And so that was one thing that um, turning 50 did to me. It made me stop and think. It made me really begin to reflect and review and, you know, evaluate and all that good stuff. You know what Einstein said that the definition of insanity is doing the same things but expecting different results, <laughs> you know. So, you know, um, I didn't want my, the second half of my life to, to be the same results, okay. So I had to stop and think and, and, and recalibrate. So that was one major thing that um, Turning 50 did to me, really take stock, soul searching, really review, really reflect, really evaluate where I am against where I'd really like to be. Okay, so that was one thing. And then the second thing was that I now got to make a radical decision. Having done all that, having, you know, taken quality time to really think and evaluate and reflect, you know, I came to a radical decision. You know what I say, our decisions determine our destiny, not our circumstances. Many, oftentimes we think it is our circumstances that determine our destiny, but not true. It is our, actually our decisions that determine our destiny. We are a product of our decisions, okay? And so having reflected and reviewed and evaluated, I began to say to myself, you know what? What are the next steps? What have I done and well, what can I do better? Okay, and that brought me to this radical decision that I came to. Okay, and it had everything to do with making sure that the second half of my life, I lived it on purpose. I lived it by intention. You know, looking back at the last 50 years, you know, I realized, believe it or not, yeah, Princess Bola, the total success coach, that I was pretty much living by default, you know? And that's many of us, you know? We just curse the la, salah. We, you know, just rolling by with the days and just allowing life to happen to us. We don't set clear goals, you know? We don't have an end in mind. We're not really intentional and strategic about where we're going and what we'd like to achieve in life. We're not, you know, strategic and intentional about what I call our P-I-L, P-I-L, okay? P-I-L, <laughs> purpose, our impact, and our legacy. Mm. Purpose, impact, and legacy. And so, you know, it's coming to, to the second half of my life. I said, look, this is a radical decision. I'm going to live intentionally, and I'm going to get intentional about my P-I-L. And so I just want to stop there. I want you to just think, because I share my story, right, to inspire you, to encourage you. Like I said, I don't want you to wait till you turn 50 or turn 60 or turn or for a milestone. You can do it right now. You know, you can stop right now and think and review and reflect and evaluate and measure and say to yourself, am I where I'd really like to be? Am I ac ac accomplishing the results, the goals, the dreams that I have set for myself? You know, I, I really want you to think about that and stop and think. Think, stop, okay? And then, like I said, you know, you come to this place where you now start thinking, okay, 
purpose, impact, and legacy. You have to start thinking about that. 50, right? 50, I know I don't want to sound so morbid, but that's half time. Okay, even if I live till 100, come on now, you know that I'm on half time, okay? And we don't know when that time is going to be for each and every one of us. It's different. We all pray and hope and wish, but we don't know how much time we have left. And so the, I want you to start thinking about your purpose, your impact, and your legacy. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach on Inspire Success, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at, at work and in life. And today I'm talking about what turning 50 did to me. Yes, it did a lot to me. It made me stop. It made me think. And it made me come to this radical decision that I was going to live the second half of my life by intention, okay? By intention, being intentional about my purpose, impact, and legacy. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, that life is a gift. Life is a gift, you know, and um, we're here on this mission, on this life's race to actually impact lives. We're actually here to change lives, to transform lives, to make an impact, to leave our footprint in the sand of time in our generation. We are change agents, okay? God put us on this planet to represent him, you know, to, to, to be fruitful, to be multiplied, to subdue the earth, to replenish the earth, okay? And so I, I started asking myself, I was saying to myself, you know, how am I living out my purpose on the earth? How am I living out my purpose and my destiny? And that is a question I want you as well um, to, to think about. You know, how are you living out your purpose? I know this is deep stuff, right? But I told you I turned 50, okay? <laughs> when you're at my age, you, you get deep. Hello? <laughs> you get deep. You got to think about it. Because like I said, now I'm on half time. And so I, I play time is over. I got to stop playing. I have to start thinking of, of, of my purpose, my impact, and my legacy. And my legacy. So, you know, that's one thing I want you to... Um, take away from this broadcast, take away from my testimony, you know, is, yeah, how are you living out your purpose? How are you living out your purpose on the earth? What difference are you making, you know? What are you doing to make the lives of people on this earth a better place? Because you lived, okay? Someone has to say, you know what, well, because of you, I was so much better because of you. You know what I mean? I accomplished my dreams as well. We're, we're, we're here to inspire people, to inspire change, okay? That's what I believe anyway. Um, you, may, you know, you don't necessarily have to agree with me, but that's what I believe, okay? And so I got clear. I really got intentional about pursuing out my purpose, my impact, and legacy. And now let's talk about legacy. Let us talk about legacy. Legacy is what you leave behind. Legacy is what people remember you by, you know. And so I wanted to really start thinking, you know what? How am I going to leave a legacy that will make my children proud, that will make, you know, my community proud, that will make even my nation proud, you know? So I, I, I thought about three areas when I thought about legacy, okay? Um, I thought about wealth, mm -hmm, money, absolutely, right? I got to leave an inheritance for my kids, okay? <laughs> Not debt, <laughs> but an inheritance that's going to give them a, a jump start in life, right? So we need to talk about money. Many of us are just not intentional about wealth creation, about our finances. You know, I'm the total success coach. So I'm going to talk about every area of your life, okay? So, you know, I, I began to think about my financial legacy, you know, a financial legacy, you know, having a planning an estate and things like that, writing wills and, you know, investments and things like that. 
that is going to be part of my legacy. Part of it is not just even for my children, but I want to be able to, after I've gone, have a legacy that's given to, you know, causes that I believe in, you know, and all of that. So um, that is one th part of the whole legacy thing for me. Um, legacy is also about wellness, okay? Wellness, wellness, just how I lived life. The whole, well, my whole well-being, my personal life, how I enjoyed life, you know. To me, that's part of your legacy. You know, I want to be remembered as a fun-loving person who enjoyed life, who took vacations, who lived well, who lived whole, you know, who lived joyfully, who lived happy, you know. That, for me, is part of your legacy, okay? And then, of course, for me, as a woman of faith, okay, is also about my winning souls, you know? It's about soul winning. So, for me, it's three things. Legacy is three things. Create wealth, obtain wellness, and win souls. C-O-L, mill that cow. <laughs> so, it's Princess Vola. Going at the deep end today, I'm taking you to the deep end. This is a very deep end. I'm talking about what turning 50 did to me, you know, being very philosophical here. I know very deep, but sometimes we need to stop and be deep, huh? We need to really stop and think and be deep and reflect. Life is not a joke, you know. We really need to think about our future, about our purpose, our impact. We need to think about our legacy. And we don't need to wait till we turn 50. So if you're watching this broadcast and you're younger, oh my goodness, I wish I had um, someone talk to me about this when I was much younger, you know, and set me on the right path, you know, younger. Yeah, so if you're younger, hey, good for you. Take notes, take notes, take notes. And if you're older, it's, it's never too late to start. Never too late to start. You know, it's about living on purpose, living on by intention, being intentional about our PIL, our purpose, impact, and legacy, and, and our, our legacy, our financial legacy, getting our financial house in order. You know, it is about also our obtaining wellness, our well-being. And so I got on a program. I got on a program. I began to detox. I'm using something called Total Life Changes. You can inbox me if you want to know more. Yeah, that's why I'm looking, yeah, young. And look at the skin and everything, trying to get this all weight and everything in order. Wellness, you know, planning vacations and things like that. And then winning souls. Obviously, for me, that's part of my higher legacy, higher purpose, my legacy. How many have I, am I able to bring into the kingdom of God? How many, have I, how many am I able to transform and save? Okay, so it's create wealth, obtain wellness, winning souls. It's Princess Bola. I'm really very excited. That is what turning 50 did to me. Got me, got me to be intentional about my purpose, impact, and legacy. To be intentional about creating wealth, obtaining wellness, and winning souls. And if you know anything about me, that means that I created a program. <laughs> that means that the moment I learn, I want to teach. I want to teach. I want to inspire people with my story. I want to inspire people with my testimony. Okay, so I created a program and um, it is a coaching program that's going to help you create wealth, obtain wellness, win souls. Inbox me, contact me at royalproclamations.com to learn more about it. And over the next couple of months, on Inspired Success, I'm going to be bringing in, you know, focusing the broadcast on, on, on wealth creation, on, on wellness, on soul winning, you know. I'm going to be bringing, uh, focusing the program on purpose and in power of intentionality and, and so on and so forth. So you just get um, ready. There. I mean, I'm back with a vengeance. I'm back fired up. And so over the next couple of months, you are in for a treat, you know. Uh, you're in for a treat. One of the programs that I'm going to be producing quarterly is Worldview Our View, okay? Worldview Our View, and I would like to host it uh, with a, a couple of other people. So 
Um, if you're interested, um, hit me up, royalproclamations.com, especially if you're local to the Connecticut community. Um, you know, um, I'd really like to talk to you about that. So, um, yeah, very exciting. Turning 50 as, um, is good. Um, I feel good about where I am. I'm grateful for living, being on the planet for this long. You know, grateful for my accomplishments, of course, and everything. But like I said, I said, I'm not going to repeat the same thing. I'm not going to keep doing the same thing, but expecting different results. So I came to become intentional about my PIL. And so that's a, a couple of tips for you in terms of getting intentional. It's for you to actually create a vision board. I actually wish that I brought mine today because, um, you know, but I'm, I'll probably share with you in future broadcasts. But creating a vision board really helps you to visually see where you're going or where you're trying to go, okay? So I want to really recommend that as far as tips and strategies for you are concerned to live on purpose, to live intentionally, you know, create a vision board, you know, just go and get um, a, a board and um, get newspaper clippings, you know, and kind of just cut them out in terms of where you want to be in the next five years, for example, the next 10 years, you know, and, and begin to pace them, you know, so that you can visually see, visually see where where um, you want to go and it can inspire you to pursue it, you know, put it somewhere visible, somewhere you can see it every day. Mine is in my living room, you know, so create that vision board for where you want to go, you know, and, and then um, also write it out, write out some things, write out your goals, write out them. In, I put them in three categories, you know, create wealth, you know, so what are your your goals and your, uh, for cre wealth creation? Do you want to re invest in real estate, you know, and so on and so forth? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to know how to monetize your business? How do you want to grow your income, you know? So create wealth, put, have a, a category for that. Then obtain wellness. For me, like I said, I got on a program you know, I use um, um, total life changes in terms of my wellness. You know, I'm planning some trips, some cruises. I've never been on a cruise before. I've traveled a lot by air, but you won't believe it, but I've never been on a cruise before. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do something different, you know. I'm going to go on a cruise with my boys in the summer. Um, you know, just wellness. Have goals. Have your vision. Lay it down on your vision board. And then for me, my thought aspect is so winning. How do you want to reach out to people? You know, how do you want to transform life, save souls from the kingdom of God? Who are the people you want to reach? You know, how, where do you want to start building those relationships? Because it's really about relationships. You can't really influence anyone. You know, you can't talk about salvation or transformation if you don't have those relationships. So I got intentional. I create that vision board in terms of, you know, the platforms I want to kind of start pursuing um, for speaking, just where I want to start building relationships and, um, you know, that also gives me, you know, a visual or something I'm aiming and reaching for. I have, you know, numbers that I want to reach, you know. So you also write that down on your vision board. So that is it for today. I am telling you, I know I've gone at the deep end. <laughs> I came back very deep, you know, but um, yes, it's a function of what turning 50 did to me, <laughs> you know, because you then realize that while time is short, um, you don't have as much time as when you were in your 20s. And, you know, you can't keep playing and you can't keep living by default and just, you know. And so, yeah, that's what Turning 50 did to me. It made me stop and think. It made me get really, really intentional about my purpose, my impact, my legacy. The radical decision that I made was that, you know what, the second half is going to be lived on purpose, you know, more strategically um, uh, and, 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 and more, 
more goal oriented and I create a vision board and I, I, I signed up for different programs and, and, um, yeah, it's really kind of just changed the trajectory of my life. I eliminated some things I was doing, you know, some things that were not furthering my vision and mission. I eliminated them and, um, yeah, I decided, yeah, second half, it has to be more focused, uh, more driven, uh, more intentional, more strategic, more productive. And so I hope you've been inspired by my testimony, by my story, you know, and like I said, I, 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 if you're younger, don't wait till you're, don't wait till you're 50. <laughs> Do it now. Now is the time. If you're older, don't beat yourself up. It's not too late. Start now. Create that vision board. And if you need a, a help, if you need support, contact me. You know, I have a phenomenal program that I created to help you unleash your purpose, your impact and legacy. Um, and I'll be happy to, to, you know, assist you on your journey. Okay, so that is it for today. So much coming soon, coming attractions um, on Inspire Success TV. You can look forward to so much about the power of intentionality, wealth creation. I'm going to be bringing experts, obtaining wellness, winning souls, giving you tip tools and strategies. I'm also starting a quarterly show called Worldview Our View. You know, and like I said, I'm open to co-hosting. So if you're interested, make sure you hit me up, um, especially if you're um, local um, to Connecticut. Um, it's Princess Bola Adelani. Oh, yes, the total success coach. Reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, put a smile on your face. Life's too short. Keep learning. Keep networking. Keep believing. And keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next month with another fantastic broadcast. RoyalProclamations.com. Thank you. Bye.